proud of myself. Hey, I was the one out there. Yeah, but I was the guy with the ideas. Now well, you'll get what you want. You see, you'll be shipped right out to sea. Never give your bum steer. Even the old man is here. Come on. Quite interesting. You're sure this man had nothing to eat but this new vitamin gum? That's correct, sir. Nothing except neutral gum and a little water for 21 days. See that he has a thorough checkup at the dispensary, miss. Good morning, Young. Good morning, sir. You did a good job. Thank you, sir. I sure hope I can get to see now. Well, you've just been to see. Oh, but I mean the real thing, sir. What do his orders read? On completion, temporary duties, return to former station and resume duties. What were your duties? Communications, sir. I always come back to communications. I went to cooking school and came back to communications. Went to every school in the Coast Guard and always came back to communications. But this time, sir, I... How long have you been in the Coast Guard? It's three years, sir. Well, not all of us can get to sea. Yes, sir. Good luck. Yes, sir. Here are your orders, young. Better stop by the dispensary first. Yes, sir. On completion temporary duties. Return to former station. Resume duties. Ah, uh, I'm right back where I started. You sure had a great idea. Oh, knock it off, will you? The idea was terrific. It just didn't work out, that's all. Anyway, I'll think of something else. Hey, look. I'd be a lot better off if you just stopped thinking entirely. <laughs> tell from here. Oh, now I know you're tired. Why don't you look on the bright side of things? <gasps> oh, I forgot to tell you. The spas are taking over the whole joint. All the guys are going to be shipped out. Not me. I'll still be here when they tear down the buildings. Oh, look, it's your desk. A spa. It's happened. I've been replaced. See, didn't I tell you? Good morning. Good morning. this means to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Attention. Special maneuvers. Lieutenant, I, I don't even know this man. He makes friends quickly. It isn't her desk, ma'am. Uh, I mean, sir. Uh, I mean, Lieutenant. It's it's his. I mean, it used you to be... You can talk, can't you? Who are you? Young, seaman first class reporting for duty, sir. Let me see your orders. I'll have to put you on report for this. Pardon, Lieutenant. You don't seem to understand. He's been on a raft for 21 days. Just drifting. All he had to drink was seawater. That'll do something to a guy. Salt. 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 I'm not denying your heroism, Seaman Young, but you shouldn't expect special privileges. Uh, where were you shipwrecked? It was in the Pacific, sir. Can't he do his own talking? Well, uh, he's not supposed to talk about it at all, ma'am. I see. Well, suppose you go to your quarters, Young, and report back here in the morning. Yes, sir. Uh, this uh, incident will have to go on your record, just as though you were anybody. Oh, but I am, sir. Better get back to work, Bradley. Uh, aye, aye, sir. Why'd you give her that shipwreck stuff? 
Who said anything about being shipwrecked? All I said was that you were on a raft. And it was a raft. And it wasn't on the Atlantic, it was on the Pacific. So you see, I was just trying to fix you up. Well, you sure did. Please, from now on, don't fix anything. Uh, excuse me, uh... I just want you to know that, that I'm awfully sorry the lieutenant put you on report. Oh, that's and... all right. Oh, but I know I, I don't think it's quite fair. After all, he's been through. Oh, it was nothing. Well, I think it was wonderful. But you know you're going to have to take very good care of him after his ordeal. He's likely to carry a, a mental scar as long as he lives. Will it show? You mean I shouldn't be left alone? What he needs is to be rehabilitated. Yeah. He should go out with his girl tonight. That's it. By all means. Well, so long, sailor. But I haven't got a girl. Yeah. Look, I... How about it? Uh, how about what? About rehabilitating him. Somebody's got to do something. He'll be all scarred up. Could we have dinner together or, or something? I can, I can meet you at the main gate at 6.30. Oh, I... I'm awfully sorry, but you see, I'm busy. Uh-huh. At 6.30. I can make it at 7. 7. Fine, we'll be there. See you then. So long. So long. Gee. I sure wish I was the guy she thinks I am. Boy, are you gonna be rehabilitated. Huh. Yeah, no thanks to you. Why do you have to keep Look, fixing boy, if things? if it wasn't for me, you would be Why talking you to yourself. Why don't you give me a break? I'm the guy who gets the ideas. You All don't get no ideas. this show turns out as good as I think it will, we're a cinch to tour the Pacific. And the first stop will be Honolulu. Now let's try the next number. Okay, Chris.
till we feel that same old thrill. Kiss me hello. Kiss me hello, baby. Now that you're in my arms, my dreams have lost their charm. Kiss me hello. You're big and strong, baby. So kiss me long, baby. It's been a long time since we kissed. I want to kiss for each kiss that I miss. In case you don't know, baby, your wandering days are through. From now on, no shoo shoo. Oh, baby, miss you so, baby. Somehow I don't think he'll show up. Somehow I don't think he'll wait. You heard what she said. Well, maybe she'll change your mind, Chief. Nice try, Mac. Why don't you lose yourself? Uh-uh. Chief, I'm the guy she's going out with tonight. Yeah? Well, maybe you ain't going out at all. Let me see your liberty card. Okay, Young. But if I catch you bothering young. her... Young! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, I, I didn't recognize you without your... <laughs> so this is what you look like. Uh-huh. Well... Leave us leave. Another slice of pie? No. Three were enough. <laughs> See, it must be wonderful to be ashore again. Wonderful. I hate it. You hate it after all you've been through? You're a great guy, Howard Young. Tell me, was your ship torpedoed? Suicide plane? Oh, I understand. You don't want to talk about it. I'd much rather talk about you. Oh, me? Oh, and I, I had freckles. Huh? Mm -hmm. And I wore braces on my teeth. Oh? Let's see how it turned out. Come on. Well, let me see. This is the one that was cooking. Beautiful job. Thank you. Don't ever show them to anybody else. Where are you from, Howie? Oklahoma. 
Where are you from? I'm from Pennsylvania. I've never been away from home until I enlisted in the Coast Guard. Well, I haven't done much either. I like your modesty, Howie. Say, you don't even wear your campaign bars. Chris, I... I wish you wouldn't. Tell me, what was it like out there on the raft? On the raft? Huh? First, I... I hated it. But the worst was the waiting. There was nothing to do but wait and wait. And never knowing whether you're going to be picked up or not. Oh, I was sure about that. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. Oh, hello. Um, girls, this is Howard Young. His ship was sunk and he was on a life raft for 21 days. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he got the Navy Cross. Oh, Chris, please. What ship were you on? It might be better if I didn't mention it. It's a military secret. Nice to meet you. You didn't have to say all that. Well, of course I did. Now everyone envies me. Oh, how are you? You just don't understand about girls. And he was on a life raft for 31 days. 33? Yeah, I mean 33. And before his ship was sunk, he shot down 21 planes. 24? Yeah, I mean 24. Oh, golly. Maybe there are things I don't understand about girls, but... I know how I'm beginning to feel about one of them. Oh, that's because it's been such a long time since you've been out with one of them. No better than that. Chris. Huh? Say something. Hello. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present a most distinguished guest. From the Pacific comes a fighting hero. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the holder of the Navy Cross, a man who shot down 30 suicide planes before his own ship was hit, a man who spent 57 days on a life raft, the pride of the U.S. Coast Guard, Seaman Howard Young. Let's get out of here. But, but they're just trying to show their appreciation. Sir, please, you have no checks, son. It's a pleasure to have you as our guest. Uh, and you too, ma'am. Well, thank you, but, uh, Kelly, uh... It was wrong to take you around so many people. Yeah, very wrong. Maybe, maybe we should have been alone the first time. I would have been much more Take comfortable. Take a ride through Lover's Lane. Show your girdle a deep sea paradise. See the seven wonders of the world and find romance in Neptune's kingdom. It's right. Don't be afraid, lady. You won't get seasick. Step right in. This looks like a good place to start being alone. Can't stay away from ships, can you? That's why I joined the Coast Guard. You've been here before. Lots of times. Well, would you believe me if I said no? No. No. Can't be. Oh, I'd recognize you any place. 
How'd you get here? Isn't this wonderful? I'm so happy. You're so happy to see me. When you left Yonkers so suddenly after our last day, I thought I'd never see you again. So did I. So you know what I did? I enlisted right after you. I knew I could find you. It had to be. It was fate, I guess. There's some things you just simply can't escape. Look, why don't you go out and get yourself captured? Oh, Chucky, do you remember the last time you kissed me? No, I didn't. I never did. I didn't kiss you in my whole life. I didn't mind. It was beautiful. It was the most important thing that ever happened to me. It was like, like a promise. Now look, Penny, you can't pin this on me. Of course, there were times I, I tried to forget you, but I couldn't. It was no use. I might as well confess. I consider us engaged. Engaged? No. No. That's like hanging an innocent man. Goodbye. I'll meet you at the pier at 8 o'clock. He's a hero. He's a hero. Take a look at all his battle stars. He enlisted. He enlisted. with you guys? Some cigarettes. Right, cut it out. Oh, will you? Is he warm? Because he took a certain course in which they taught him code by Morse and kept him out of the battle force. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was willing enough to take a course on how to cook and bake instead of finding his bacon cake. Yeah. Yeah. Because he really is very keen, they taught him radar in between to find a foe he's never seen. But still he stays on shore. Look, to prove the boy is really smart, he learned his manual year by heart and he can take a ship apart. But still he stays on shore. But he dreams of going to war. He's a hero, he's a hero, he's as brave or braver than they come. He's a hero, he's a hero, for 21 days he lived on Nutra Gum. Is he fearless? Yes, he's fearless. He rushes in where brave men turn away. Staying here at home, he never fought the war. But he got just as many shots in his arm as just a saw. He's a hero. He's a hero. A trigger to the USA. Behind each one of our fighting men, you'll find that one, but maybe ten men who stand sure. But that's the war. The paperwork to be done is immense. It takes a lot of intelligence. Hence, a guy like he don't get to see. The day that he enlisted, he told them I'm too fisted. So what did they do with this potential fighter? Why they put him to work behind the typewriter? Really to protest, for although he mans a desk, he's a hero, he's a hero, though he's never been out with the fleet. He's a hero, he's a hero, he proved that a guy can eat the stuff you eat. Is he valiant? Is he valiant? He's a tiger, where a brave man is a lamb. Sure, it takes a lot of guts to answer the battle horn. But it takes more guts to stay at home and listen to Calvin Bond. I saw myself. I saw myself. He was standing there with the thing. The plane was coming down. He shot up. I saw him go down. The U.S. Coast Guard. I saw him shoot down. The guy was coming at him. The Japs were coming at him with the bayonets. He stabbed the guy once with the bayonet. He couldn't get out. He pulls the bayonet at him. The guy stabbed him with the bayonet. He pulls the bayonet at him himself and he stabbed the guy. The U.S. Navy. He stabbed the guy. Pulled the bayonet again. He stabbed him. Fights him. He knocks him and mangles him. He was shooting him and hitting him and banging him. Ooh, I'm mighty as such a knife. He was banging him. He was hitting him and choking him. He was banging him. He was choking him. He was hitting him.
really was on a raft. Oh, I know. You did something quite admirable. Chris. Yes? Why do you say, Chris, we go down to the pier tonight for some fun? You might try your story out on somebody else tonight. I'm busy. I see. You don't want just anybody. You have to have a lot of medals and be famous, huh? No, he just has to be honest, that's all. Howie oh, Young, you didn't have to lie. I didn't lie. You did. You wouldn't give me a chance to explain. Explain. And you're not giving me a chance now. How stubborn can you be? Now, you listen to me. Put that back. I will not. Yes, you will. I've got something to say. Don't you're going to listen to it. Do you two have a problem? didn't sing at all. The big dog was a ventriloquist. <laughs> that was the funniest joke I ever heard when I heard it. Very good. Oh, come on, Howie. Stop worrying, will you? Look, first she thought you were terrific. Then she thought you weren't terrific. All we gotta do now is make her think you're terrific. Yeah, that's all. Send your boys home. The trouble with you, you is you talk too around. much. You I talk too much. Bed. With my ideas, on, I should be talking all the time. Make a record. You can talk and sing. Yeah, that's a good approach. Make a record and send it to her. You know, something romantic. Like a poem. Spoon, crew, June, moon. At noon? That's the stuff. You know, it's a funny thing about your ideas. Each one of them gets worse than the last. He don't want it. But I could come back a little later. Cool off, sailor. Hurry, hurry. Gee, how I still think it's a good idea about making a record. Say, hey, I'd like Talk to... Talk or sing. Sing. That'll be 75 cents in advance.
go-round I have loved and I'm found Once your feet leave the ground You go up, you go down You're in clover It's so swell that a bell Starts to tingling The ride is over Love is the flightiest thing It's a bird on the wing Searching for spring You're up high Till you try for the ring It's a merry-go-round It's the dizziest thing Love is a pain in the neck It's an old rubber check It's the deuce in the deck You go up You go down like a fever. Once you're wet, you are dead. Brother, you are hooked and you can't leave her. Love, it's the horse in the race. Take your bed off the place. That falls flat on its face. Very true. You're up high till you try for the ring. Mm, she's so cute. Junior? Seventeen months and four days. That's a long time. Doesn't seem long to me. Muriel and I have everything planned. We're going to build a house, you see. Well, we're going to have quite a large family. What's it like having a baby? Scary. Very scary. But an awful lot of people have them. Most everybody. Good idea to start young, the way Muriel and I have. Yeah, that's what I've been thinking. Young? Yeah, I guess the time comes when a man knows he wants to settle down. Hey! I'm being shipped. I'm being shipped out. Shift out. You know what? No, what? I've definitely decided. I'm going to marry Chuck. Oh, has he asked you yet? Not yet. You see, I'm having a little difficulty pushing him into it. You ought to get married too, Chris. It's definitely a woman's destiny. <laughs> well, maybe someday I will, Penny. I um, hope you don't mind my telling you this. It's Well, it's only because I'm your best friend, but... I don't think it's going to be so easy for you to get yourself a husband. What? Well, you're not the type of a girl a man marries. Oh, fine. What do you mean? 
Well, what I mean is, you're not active enough. Women can't leave everything to men. We have to go halfway. At least 90%. Oh, silly. Oh, ouch. Now, take my case, for instance. Chris. Where would I be if it hadn't been the... Well, I kind of went after Chucky. The important thing about being with men, of course, is not to let them know they're being handled. Men hate that. I know I'm right, too. And it makes no difference whether it's Chuck or Howie. Don't you think so? Chris? Chris! Howie! You're sipping out? I don't know what to say. Honey, I've been waiting three years for this. Now that it's here, I kind of wish... I'll write to you. Every day? Chris. Gosh, I... I don't even have a picture to give you to remember me by. I don't need anything to remember you by. Here. Take this. No. No, that's for you to remember me by. Goodbye. Oh, how are you? Chris. Hey. Scanlon, Whitaker, Allen, Smith, Fagan, Duran, Kayla, Stir, McKinney, Nelson, Wells, Grafton, and Ferns. The name's call will fall out and board the destroyer. Fall out? Martin, Cassidy, Young, you're ordered to Catalina. What? Catalina? But, but that's only 20 miles away. Correct. Here are the orders. No. No. No, I won't go. They can't make me go. It's orders. You've got to go. Yeah, take it easy, Howie. But I told Chris I was going to see. They can't send me to Catalina. It isn't fair. Well, I can get on board in the double. Come on, sailor. Let's not us have any trouble. No, I won't go, I tell you. They'll have to change my orders. That's what they'll have to do. Get on board before I have you carried on. Will you escort this gentleman on board? Put him on! Yeah, but I... All right, move the lead. Let me alone. Take your hands off of me. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Come on, knock on. I wouldn't let Chris know I was a Catalina for anything in the world. Now I can't even write to her. You don't have to write. You could just holler across. You're a lucky girl. I wish I could stay in bed till 6 a.m. You'll get a letter today. You wait. That's what I thought yesterday. The day before that. And the week before that. Well, they'll probably all come at once. That happens sometimes. See you at breakfast. I'm not hungry. Well, I'm in luck too, but I can still eat. Good morning. Good morning. You're just in time. Everything's nice and hot. He... Uh, no eggs. Oh, but I gotta keep you big and strong. That's enough. Nonsense. You don't have to be bashful with me. I hate eggs. I've made up my mind I'm gonna take good care of you, Chuck Anders. I guess I'm just an old-fashioned girl at heart. I'm so sentimental about cooking and keeping house and everything that's old-fashioned. 
kind of romantic, isn't it? Having breakfast together. Here you are, and here I am. And here we are. Show off, sailor. He's such a rugged guy. I never know what he's thinking. It's a good way to stay happy, sister. Yeah. Do you like eggs? Oh, I like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why, what it means to a pilot to shoot himself a zero. What the fiddle must have meant to the Emperor Nero. The same way I get elated. See what a hen has created. What it means to an artist to gaze at a Picasso. 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 What it means to a cowboy to buy himself a lasso. 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 <clears throat> the same way my pulses quicken. <laughs> When I gave at the fruit of a chicken. Did you ask, sir, if I love a? Ask a sailor, does he love a? Yeah. You do. More than the miser loves his shekels. More than the brewer loves his kegs. More than a barefoot boy could love his freckles. I love eggs. We heard him say he loves them. More than the sailor loves the water. Or any kiss for which he begs. More than the chambermaid could love a porter. I love eggs. He said he loves them. There are those who love the sound of a cow when it starts to move. But the sound I love most of all is the guy yelling scramble to I don't Scramble to! Scramble to! Scramble to! I am I! No! More than the gardener loves his tulips. More than the suits who loves its pegs. More than the colonel loves his mint and juleps. I love eggs. Oh, sing another chorus. I love eggs. I love eggs. I love eggs. I love eggs. I love them more than a steak a chop. Love them more than a break and pop. For eggs is nothing I wouldn't swap. I love eggs. I love eggs. I love eggs. All the gay senorita Just the poor Spanish omelette eater In the winter they use them for heater So I eat Spanish omelettes a lot They're hot! They exist They're my favorite stone. I can get you know. Oh, oh, they grow me know. You can call my blow. Eggs are on your nose. They're the only eggs that I love. Prost. Tak na jajce dušna dojka pasta. Nie jest tuż tu w dutkę, bo nie da stras tuż tu. Oh, my God.
that female nightmare again, I'll tell her just what I think of it. Do you see what she did to me? Yeah. Here? That's not what I'd do with a beautiful blonde. A blonde? Mm. So tall. Mm. So wide. So... So long. Mm. Where do you think you're going? Just to get a glass of water. Chiefy. Thirsty. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chuck. Say, um... <laughs> What's the matter, kid? Well, to tell you the truth, Chuck, I'm so worried I don't know what I'm doing. You see, I haven't heard from Howie. Not since he left. And I just kind of wondered if maybe you had heard from him. But that doesn't mean anything. You know, fellas. Fellas don't usually write the fellas. Fellas are funny fellas. I just feel terrible, Chuck. After all, it's not like Howie. Gee, he did sort of promise to. What are you working yourself up for? Maybe he's in a spot where he can't write. Maybe. Well, thanks, Chuck. Gee, Chris, I... I know how you feel, and I wish I could think of something, but I can't. Say, Chuck, I wonder whatever happened to that record how he made it appear that night. You know. Gee, I'd love to have it. Wait a minute. I'll bet it's still down at the pier. It's practically yours. You see, I always think of something. Come on, Chris. Too bad. We certainly could use a voice like that. What was his name? Howard Young, sir. He has brown hair and blue eyes, and he wears a sailor suit, and sometimes he wears a beard. Thank you. Carry on. come through this training in fine shape. You're a great team. Congratulations. You're shipping out soon, very soon. Therefore, all liberties are canceled. Coming in. Ten shot. Dismiss. Hooray! How do you like that? I hope this will be all right with Muriel. Shipping out, finally. It's okay for you. It sure is. 
I guess I was crazy worrying. Now I can write to Chris. Every day. Twice a day. Shows, doesn't it? Everything works out all right. Now hear this. Howard Young, seaman first class, report to embarkation dock, sea backpack, ready for departure. Well, that's it. So long, Junior. So long, Howie. Gee, I, I was beginning to think this would never happen. I've waited over three years. It's almost too good to be true. Yes? Young, seaman first class reporting, sir. Hello, Young. I don't understand, sir. My orders were to ship out. That's right. From Catalina back to the base. You're going to be in the show. Get Chris Bradley. Oh, no. What's that? I mean... No, sir. Uh, I can't sing a note, sir. Oh, yes, you can. I've heard you. But, but I just can't be in the show, sir. I, I, I can't. What is this? Temperament? You'll start rehearsing immediately. Howie. Hi, Chris. Oh, you know each other. Well, that makes it easier. Everybody on stage dismissed. Here, look these over. I'll be with you in a minute. Oh, you here? You're back. Yes, I am. Oh, it's so good to see you. Darling, I was so worried about you. You didn't write, and I, I thought something had happened. Nothing at all happened. I did want to write to you, Chris, but... Well, I, I just couldn't. Of course you couldn't. But why couldn't you? Well, because, you see, I, I was on a... on an, uh... an island. Oh, I see. But how are lots of people on islands, right? Chris, I was in Catalina. You mean you were only a few miles away and you didn't let me know? Well, I kept hoping I'd be shipped out and well, I was afraid to, well... Afraid? Afraid? Look, I was afraid too, running around like crazy, waiting and waiting and waiting. Just to hear that you were all right, Howie, that's all I needed. One line to tell me that you were safe. I I'm sorry, Chris, but I didn't think about it like that. And besides... After the way we said goodbye, well, don't you see, I, I just couldn't write you from Catalina. Oh, you couldn't. Look, I would have loved knowing you were only 20 miles away from me. But you were too inconsiderate to think of it like that. You had to make me suffer just to save your silly old pride. Now, wait a minute. Aren't you going a little overboard? I am not. What I really ought to tell you is that you're a coward. Coward? Listen here, you Are you through? Definitely. All right, then. Let's get started. But you look like you hated each other. Now let's do it with a little more feeling. Yes, yes sir. sir. 
Why don't you let me fix it up with Chris? Like I always do. You know I know all there is to know about women. Practically. There's only one way to handle them. And that's the wrong way. Trouble with women is they don't understand men. No. They don't see things from the same angle. That's the trouble. The trouble with men is they spend too much time thinking about women. We ought to... We ought to boycott all of them. Yeah. That would serve them right. And then everything would be just... I don't like it. Well, here we are. Kind of back where we started. I guess I'm lucky to have you anyway. Come on, let's get out of this joint. Let's go down to the pier or something, anything. Hey, Howie. I meant to tell you before, but I just didn't get around to it. I'm shipping out. You're shipping out? On the Radcliffe. With your old unit. With my... With my unit. That's what the man says. I'm going, too. But you can't, Howie. You haven't got any orders. I'm going anyway. But you'll get in trouble. I don't care. I'm going. Come on, come on. Get moving. On the double. A flower of womanhood. Pipe down and get that flesh out of here. Chucky! Were you looking for me? I thought you might want to say goodbye. Goodbye. And, and on account of because you're going away, I wouldn't mind if you kissed me like you did before. Remember? Listen, Penny. Before I go, there's, there's something I want to ask you. Yes, Chucky. Well, ever since that day at the wash tubs, there's been something on my mind. And now that I'm shipping out, I... I kind of sort of want to have everything straight between us. What are you saying, Chucky? When did I kiss you and I doubt it? How could you forget it when it was at Kate Murphy's birthday party? Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. First we played musical chairs and you pushed me on the floor. And then you spilled your banana marshmallow split all over me. And then, then it happened. We played post office. Ah, uh, that was 12 years ago. You were 11 and I was 10. Yeah. Well, bye. Uh. got something you didn't have 12 years ago. <sighs> Bye. Pick it up. Uh, yes, Chief. Square your hat. Nice of us to hold a ship for you. Junior, we're on the same ship together. Yeah. That's all I need. Secure the gangplank. No, I won't go. They can't make me go. Who do they think they are? I'm not going on that ship no matter what anyone says. I know my rights. This is a free country. I tell you, I won't go. I'm still a citizen of this country. What about the Constitution? Yeah. 
Nobody's putting me on that ship. I won't go. He doesn't want to go. Man Young, seaman first class, is charged with coming aboard ship without orders, sir. Anything you say for yourself, son? Yes, sir. It wasn't my fault, sir. I was forced. I couldn't resist a superior. Was that true, Chief? Why did you force him? Because he refused to go, sir. But he wasn't supposed to. Well, when he said he wouldn't go, I, I thought he was supposed to go and wouldn't. So, of course, I made him go because he didn't want him. Well, Chief, you've been in the service a long time. You ought to know better than that. Well, it, it happened before, sir. He, he was supposed to go to Catalina, and he wouldn't go. And I had to make him go. And that time he was supposed to go, so I thought... What's that, that got to do with this? But, Commander, I meant... Sorry, sir, but... Commander, I meant doesn't say he doesn't want to go if he doesn't have to go. You realize you're absent from your base without leave? Yes, sir. He's a deserter. That's what he is. I'm not. I... He kidnapped me. Uh, whichever it is, you, you belong to your base. That's right, sir. He's not on our muster. He can't be a passenger. He can't stay here. You mean you're going to put me off? But you didn't want to go. Yes, but now that I am here, can't you find some place for me? Well, restrict him to quarters. And assign him to duty pending disciplinary action. Till we get a decision from headquarters. Carry on. Thank you, sir. Advise the base by dispatch. Yes, sir. Well, let them figure it out. What's the matter, Penny? Have you heard about it? I just heard about it. It's all over the base. What's all over the base? Oh, it's terrible. He'll probably get shot or something if they catch him. Catch him? Mm. Haven't I been telling you? It's Howie. He's gone over the hill. He's A-W-O-L. Howie? I can't believe it. He's not a deserter. I know how you feel. Oh, they've been looking for him in the most impossible places, and he wasn't in any of them. I don't believe it. Chris, come here quick. Do lots of funny things. Huh. He's finally got to see. Isn't it wonderful? Chucky and Howie together on one single ship. Boy, I'm so happy. Now we can worry together. Hey, maybe we'll get our letters at the same time, too. Oh, I'm afraid not, Penny. I don't think I'll be getting any letters. And I don't think I'll be writing any either. Hey, Junior, will you write me a letter? Sorry, I can't now, Chuck. I'm writing to Muriel. I have to keep up our morale, you know. I'm glad I don't have to waste my time writing people. Got more important things to do. Yeah, like laying in a sack all day, playing with a beat-up deck of cards, like you've been doing for the past month. All pipe down. Tell you what, Howie. Why don't you tell me what you want to tell to Chris? Are you kidding? Don't you see? Then I could tell Penny to tell Chris without telling her you told her to tell me. See? I beg your pardon. Would you kindly say that again? I will tell me, then I'll tell Penny Look, to tell... Look, if I have anything to tell Chris, I don't have to tell you to tell Penny to tell her. I can tell her myself, see? But I don't want to tell her anything, see? See? I see. Now hear this. Motion pictures will be shown in the cruise mess in five minutes. Yeah, come on. Let's go to the movies. No, we don't want to go. Grab him. He's restricted, so we don't want to go. All right, go ahead and go if you want to. You might learn something. Now, come on, Chuck, let's go. Nah, I don't want to go. Okay, I'll tell you what it's all about when I've seen it. Another genius. I can tell you what it's all about, and I don't even have to see it. They're all the same. Boy gets girl, girl gets boy, boy gets girl, girl gets boy. Everybody gets everybody, or nobody gets nothing. Yeah, but this is an aviation picture. It's the same story, only it's up in the air. Look, you come into the theater, it's all dark. You grope yourself down the aisle. You look for a seat, you find one. You sit down, 
and first thing you hear is the music. Then you see way, way, way back in the screen is a small speck. It's an airplane. It becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and finally it swoops up. And on the bottom of the wings is the title. Wings over Berlin Schissel. Then you see a scene. It's morning and it's raining. Rain. Always raining, never a clear day. Then you see a big scene. It's an airfield with a group of buildings. You come closer and closer. You see only one building. You come closer and closer. You see only a window. The window is closed. But the camera goes right through. Then you see Colonel Britton as he's making a speech to his men. <coughs> Gentlemen, we are here to pick a volunteer. For a very dangerous mission. That of a one man bombing of bombing sister. Then we see camera close ups of different faces. Grim. Determined. Revengeful. Nervous. <laughs> the nervous one we just saw is that of a kid. He's a young fella, he just joined up. He's about 11 years old. He's a major. Finally, the whole thing is left up to the two aces of the squadron. Bill and Smiling Jim. But the Colonel wishes them all good luck. <laughs> good luck, good luck, my boy. 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 Good luck, good luck, Major. You're a good little fellow. You're just, uh, watch out for the Major. I'm a good boy. Good luck, chilly old boy. <laughs> now you see the Phil and Smiling Jim in the locker room. Two handsome men. One with a mustache and one without a mustache. It's for the girls who like mustaches and the girls who don't like mustaches. <laughs> and Smiling Jim speaks first. I'll take up the plane. You marry Jane. Bill speaks. Nah. Nah. I'll take up the plane. You marry Jane. She goes, look, though. Out the window, see, out there, quick. <laughs> it's better this way. It gets into his flying suit. Zip it. Puts on the parachute. Out the door. Into the plane. Contact. Switch on. And a robber. It's a very simple plane. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Will somebody tell me who is Roger? <laughs> Taking off in runway number four, clear the field. <laughs> wind information, please. <laughs> wind northeast by southeast by west by north by southeast on a crosswind by the south side on a crosswind. We're going to think we're going to send it. Then watch out for the storm. Sorry, I'm going straight ahead. <laughs> Taking off now. <laughs> He's gonna make it. <laughs> It's a heavy plane. Now the scene switches back to Bill lying unconscious on the locker room floor. He gets up. Oh, my head, my head. He says, what happened? What happened? No, what? <laughs> Runs up to the control tower. Says Early, where's Smiling Jim? He just took off in the plane, sir. Well, get me in contact with him right away. Yes, sir. Jim. Jim, you fool. Bring that plane in immediately, you hear me? Bring that plane in immediately, you fool! 
There's no propeller on it! <laughs> <laughs> now the scene stays with Jim as he flies on to Bominches. <laughs> Always looking down. <laughs> Always looking down. <laughs> Never look up. Because that's where the Germans are. <laughs> Finally, we see the Germans fire them. The German planes always look so horrible. Always black, with the big swastika and the skull and the crossbones and the pilots. Always with the black mustache, the square goggles and the black helmets. They look so mean. <laughs> <laughs> but the Americans. Mm, nice, clean cut fellows. Mm, and the German planes, they don't sound like the American planes. The American planes always sound nice. Mm, but the German planes. <laughs> Finally, the German squad leader looks down, he sees smiling Jimmy, says to his comrades, Achtung, Achtung, bereit for Verstellung, und welche Schliebe für Unbereich, was jetzt eben durch die Lüse? Let's go for the Führer. <laughs> smiling Jim looks up, sees the German planes coming down, he swoops his plane up. No, he's smiling. Jim gets in position, opens up. Two German planes go down. But still the German comes on. And the American... Jim gets in position again. Up and Two more German planes go down. Now there are only two planes left in the sky. The German and the American. Jim gets in position again. Opens up. Jim's guns are jammed. Meanwhile, the German swoops around, gets him back, and Jim opens up. Jim's tail is gone. Again, the German comes in. Jim's right wing is gone. Again, the Jeremy comes in. Jim's left wing is gone. With no tail. No right wing, no left wing, no machine guns. He heads straight for the German. <laughs> now, Jim is alone in the sky. <laughs> he looks down, he's over bomb and just lopes his bomb bees. Looks into the bomb site. There goes the factory. There goes the ammunition dump. There goes the chemical works. Five o'clock, Jim goes home. <laughs> Come on, Junior, let's see that picture. It's <laughs> long, Howie. We'll tell you what it's about when we come back. It's long. Swaying to soft music in the breezes, lying in the sand with flowers all about you. Gee, it's gonna be neat. Oh, sure. That's exactly why we're being transferred, with the compliments of the Coast Guard. People used to go to Honolulu on their honeymoons. Yeah, but you're not. Come on, Penny, hurry up. No, I'm not, darn it. I don't want to go anyway. I want to be waiting right here. When a girl's engaged, she wants to be waiting where the man she's engaged to is sure to find her where he left her. Or how's he going to know where to look for her if I'm not here? Well, frankly, I'm glad we're leaving this place. May I call? Here it is, kid. Oh, boy. Oh. Anything for Johnny? He wrote me. He wrote me. You see how engaged I am? June 21st. Dear Penny, there isn't very much to say. August 28th, some of the guys were seasick. I wasn't. He wasn't. Oh, here's the part about Howie. September the 3rd, Howie is restricted. He's depressed, but that's not why. September the 4th, I know why, but I can't tell you. Well, let's see now. I guess we'll wear our blues on board ship, but when we get to Honolulu, it'll be too hot. Well, this, this part's kind of personal, but I guess you better hear all of it. October the 1st. Regards, Chuck Enders. P.S. How are you? Oh, he's 
so timid about everything. That's why I love him, I guess. Now, look, Chief. Either you take me in to see the captain, or I'll pluck that raid off your sleeve and ram it down your throat. Who do you think you are, a human being? How's that sound, Howie? He might get insulted. So what? Uh, this waiting around is getting to be a drag. I want to get a decision on you. Look, don't let's let you start fixing me up anymore. That's gratitude. After all I've done for you, like a mother. Well, I hate to hurt your feelings, but with your talent for catastrophe, I'll probably end up by having them turn around and take me back. I doubt it. And your battle stations. And your battle All present or accounted for, sir. 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 Platoon number one, all present or accounted for, sir. Very well. Platoon number two, all present or accounted for, sir. Very well. Carry out the orders of the day. Dismiss your platoons. Platoon number platoon one, number dismiss. Two, dismiss. What's the matter? What happened, Penny? Radcliffe, bombed. They're bringing in the survivors. There's Chuck. Chuck! Chucky! Must be one. Chucky! Anderson. Hiya, monkey face. Chucky. Hi, Chris. Hello, Chuck. Boy, I never expected this from you, girl. Where's Howie? He isn't with you? He isn't coming back. I don't know, Chris. We couldn't find him. Last time I saw him, he was getting into a gun tub with you, Junior. But then the ship was hit by a lot of planes. They got them all, but I guess but all but the last one. making advances at my girl. Come here, you. Chris. Yes? Remember, remember what... On stage, everybody. What should I remember? Well, what you once said about mental scars and rehabilitation and being alone and things like that. 
Oh, oh, yes, yes, you always did hate crowds. Yes, and I'm worse now. Then let me tell you something else. Now that you got me in this condition, let him in. I want you to know who's going to be the boss. You! And... Well, that's different. Now that we both understand me, I'm not through. I'm not going to stand for you trotting all over the place, kissing people and anybody like fellas. Oh, Chucky! You're jealous! <gasps> Now let's not make a predicament out of a catastrophe. Hey! It's a baby. It's a baby. Searching for spring. <laughs> I'm in love. You're a pearl.